everyone, this is Ashley from CT and Rena Digitals. I'm going to do a tutorial uh, to show you how to use the background smoothing action in Photoshop. Uh, I have two images open. I'm going to do a newborn image and I'm also going to do a maternity image on Seamless. Um, first of all, before you even um, play the action, you're going to want to clean up your background. So if there say there was like um, it wasn't all one color say this like the backdrop ended here and you could see a little bit of the table or the bean bag you would want to extend that right there so the backdrop is solid otherwise you're gonna get uneven shadows um, so first I want to I'm just gonna get rid of I'm gonna use my healing tool I'm gonna get rid of just these spots right here you don't have to um, the action will cover that but I always just get rid of the noticeable marks. Um, so you can see there's like lines through the fabric. I just want to smooth the fabric a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to go to my backdrop smoothing action, click play, and it's going to tell me to use the magnetic lasso tool or to select subject button to select around the subject and then press play again. Press stop. I'm going to go over to my selection tool. I'm going to go up to select subject, press that and make sure it selects the subject pretty good. And then I'm going to press play. Okay, and then it's going to tell me to use a soft white brush to brush on the blur around the subject. Um, and if you mess up at all, you can use a soft black brush to brush it off if you need to. Um, and then you can adjust the opacity as desired and then you can use the noise action to reduce banding um, but I'm going to show you another way to redu reduce the banding without having to run um, the noise action as well. So go ahead and go press stop. I'm going to go over to my brush. Make sure it's white. I'm going to go up to 100% opacity. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and brush it on. Now I like to use a larger brush and then just kind of feather it around the subject. And then if say I got, see if I get it on right there, I can just switch my brush to black and just brush it right back off. Switch it back to white to brush on. You can adjust the size of your brush to meet whatever um, area you're doing. Okay, so now this is pretty strong. Um, as you can see, if you take that away, it did all that. I usually lower it a little bit, um, depending on what kind of backdrop I'm using. About 85 there, so that way you can, you can still see the texture a little bit, but it smoothed out all those lines before and after. And as you can see, um, so there's a little bit on him right here that I want to brush off. I'm going to switch to black again and just brush that off. Okay, so now you could flatten your, your layers after this and use the noise action, or the bye-bye banding action, or you could just click on this block over here in your layers panel, go up to filter and noise go to add noise as you can see there's like banding right here um, i'm gonna add i usually add like 1.53 i don't know why that's just like my preferred um number but as you can see you can still see it a little bit so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna add some more and that took away the banding. And you can play with it um, depending on what kind of how much noise you want. Flatten. Go up to before. Oops, sorry. And after. And if you wanted to run the bye-bye banding action, it literally just 
duplicates your layer and adds noise to it. Um, and then you would just use the layer mask and your black brush to brush it off of your subject. And you can adjust the opacity of the noise as well. Okay, so that's it for that image. Now for this one, go ahead and run the action. Use the magnetic, magnetic lasso tool or select subject. Um, <clears throat> I prefer to use the select subject tool, but if you um, want to use the magnetic lasso tool, it's all you have to do is just click around your subject and you don't have to get super close to them. Get as close as you can without selecting them. And press play. Okay, again use a soft white brush. I get a lot of messages saying that when the, somebody plays the action it doesn't do anything. This is not a one click action. I prefer to brush it on so I have more control over it. Um, so it seems like it's doing nothing, but you have to use the white brush to brush it on yourself. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of ripples in the backdrop on this one. So I want to get rid of all of that. Go ahead and brush it on further away from the subjects. Now, if you're not sure where you brushed, you can press your backslash button and it'll show you where you already brushed. The red is what still needs to be filled in. I use that sometimes. I'm going to use a small, little bit of a smaller brush to get closer to my subjects. You want to use a bigger brush and feather it on. Otherwise, if you zoom in and use a really tiny brush, you're going to get a halo around your subjects. And you can always go back in and brush it off if you want. black brush. I'm going to brush it off down here a little bit because I've got it on them. Okay, backslash. See, I want to add a little bit more down here. Okay, go over to this block over here. Filter, noise, add noise. I start with that and that already got the 1.53 already got rid of the banding. That's it. Flatten your image.